Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome to the channel, Mitchie Boy here, and today I want to do a video about how I design uh, t-shirts for merch by Amazon and uh, other print-on-demand websites such as like Redbubble and stuff. Uh, so we've just got a new file here, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change it to, um, I put it to 15 by 12. And then I'll resize it later on. Uh, and the reason for that is um, it's like it's really big, the other size. So it's like the text is real small on the like when you do it at that size. But if you do it like this, you can fill it up and then you can um, just make the complete file bigger. Uh, so yeah, that. Is like the same dimensions when you resize it to 4500 by 5400 um, and 300 resolution it's the same sort of dimensions so yeah that's the first thing we're going to do then magic wand click that and get rid of the get rid of that so it's a transparent background so just press delete when it's highlighted and then um, start by adding some text we'll change that to white as our primary color some text and then we'll select the font uh, we'll go with impact I like impact so impact change the size to 216 I think support and then move it around if you need to center it uh, and then I like to add another layer because when you just do a space press enter there's like a huge gap in between lines I like to make them a bit smaller uh, so, oh. I'm going to put that image in here so it all kind of sits together nicely though all depends like the size of the like words and stuff you're using how you like put it together uh, try to move it up so there's a bit less space add another layer uh, And if, like, sometimes there's like a big difference between sizes and fonts. So sometimes if you just want to make it like a little bit smaller, or even like a bit bigger, um, you can just, what I do is I select this tool here, which um, you just put around the word that you want to make bigger or smaller. And then I go copy delete that layer, add a new layer, paste it in, and then you should be able to adjust it, so pull that in a bit, I just want to make it like the same size as this word here, so it's all like, you know, it doesn't look funny, it looks a bit funny when you've got like one word that's like way bigger than the other, even though it's not way bigger, but you know what I mean. Uh, and then for the last one, we'll deselect that because if we if we have that selected, then nothing will come up when we type a new word. So deselect that. Can I add some more text? Also, this um, put in chef. Also, like I said before, you can do that select uh, rectangle select tool go around it and this time because we want to make it even bigger than like the largest font size so that's another way to do this copy delete the layer put another layer in paste and then just stretch it out
All right. That. And now we're going to merge the layers down because I'm going to do some effects to the text to make it look a bit cooler. I think it makes it look a bit cooler. Uh, the effects is the one that I like is um, Photo Glow. Gives it kind of like an outline, the text. Um, kind of like a shadow, kind of outline kind of thing. Uh, bring the brightness. You can play around with it a bit if you want to see what you like. I bring the brightness down and then increase the radius. And um, press OK. You can see it's given it like a little outline. Uh, I normally go through and do it, uh, let me see, a couple of times. Repeat the Uh, sorry about that, my microphone keeps cutting out, so hopefully it'll uh, carry on working now, so yeah. But and like I said before, uh, this effect that I like to do to the text is come to Effects, uh, Photo. Also you have to have it all on one layer, that's why I merge the layers down, or else it will just do the effect to like one layer. Uh, whatever layer you have selected, so we go do this glow, photo glow, and I like to do it like three or four times, just gives it a nice kind of outline shadow, as you can see. And then yeah, the next thing I'll do an image in here. Um, I've already got uh, an image of. Chef, so we're going to put that in. Do 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 clip art. Uh, it's probably in my download section actually. Chef, so we want. May have to resize it. Chef, select. All control A, control C to copy it. We've got a new layer, I'm going to paste it in, and then shrink it down so we can fit it. Um, fit it in the gap that we've left for our clip art. bit more, it's a bit tall, stretch it out a bit to the side, and there you have it, one merch by Amazon t-shirt designed, um, what other things can I show you guys, uh, another thing I like to do is like add, um, Add like, you can add like, um, you can add like a, um, image or another image into, so, show you guys how I do that. Um, like for example, um, put an American flag in, American flag. So open that flag up in another another file. Control A to select all. Control C to copy. Uh, we're going to add a new layer, and then we're going to paste it in. Keep canvas the same size. Just stretch it out so it covers the entire text, and then we're going to deselect this layer, so uncheck this box here, 
select the magic wand or we're going to deselect that selection select the magic wand and we're going to select this text click on this layer and click this box here and then we will go edit invert selection <clears throat> and then we're, when we, we're going to have this layer too we're going to have that selected and then we're going to click cut and yeah that gives it like a cool american flag look um sorry american like text so if it was like a american themed t-shirt or something you could do something like that don't know what i'm really doing here but you can um yeah i think it's pretty much it for now so yeah thanks for watching hopefully you found the video helpful um and yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching